In this video, you will learn about the MUD system. This tutorial starts out on the drilling screen. To navigate to the MUD system, locate the well control button and press it. Next, select the MUD system. The MUD system screen displays the entire surface circulating system. This includes the MUD tanks, the pumps, standpipe manifold, BOP overview, choke manifold, and flow line. Let's line up the standpipe manifold for drilling with both pumps. Click red valves closed to open them. Any black valves that are located on this screen are reserved for later use. Let's line up the choke manifold. Once again, click red closed valves to open them. Choke one is located on the left. The choke color is dependent on the choke's position. Watch as I navigate to the choke panel to open choke one. When I return to the MUD system, you can see that the choke color has changed, indicating that the choke is open. The BOP overview displays the state of the preventers, choke and kill line valves, and the accumulator pressures. I will function the choke and kill line valves. The indicator lights on the BOP panel for the choke and kill line valves have turned green, signaling that they are now in the open position. The valves on the flow line are a bit different. Let's divert to the trip tank. Clicking any of the flow line valves automatically toggles the adjacent valve. It is only possible to route the flow line to either the trip tank or active mud system. Transferring mud to the trip tank is done by clicking the transfer pump button located below the active mud system. trip pump can also be toggled on with the pump located below the trip tank. To transfer mud from the active to the reserve or from the reserve to the active is done with the pumps located in between both of these tanks. Click the volume density toggle to change the readouts on the tanks and flow lines to display density instead of a volume measurement. Change the density of the mud in the active by clicking the button and entering the desired weight on the keypad. To change the density of the fluid in the trip tank, you must transfer heavier mud into the trip tank. Click the relief valve button to set the pop valve settings for the mud pumps. Enter the desired value in the keypad. I will isolate pump 1 and then blow the relief valve. When the relief valve is blown, the color of the button turns green, signaling that the valve is in the open position. 